It's actually been a little while since uh, Ansel has had a conversation with the character of Autumn. Now, there were a number of occasions where you could have run across her in the world and she offers some kind of moral support to him. But it's been a little while since you've had a mandatory conversation with her. That's an interesting thing to note. She has seemed in the past to be something of a hallucination of his. Somebody who is always around him, but she doesn't know what has happened to him and how he's found himself in this, a place like this. And that's because she wasn't even there. We're not looking at in a figment of his imagination. This is actually a separate and distinct entity, which is more or less following him around and supporting him in his life. Of course, she is completely authorial and she can't touch anything, so she can't help him do anything. All she can really ever do is offer a kind of moral support to him. Despite the fact that she has always been with him, he, she has not always liked the kind of person that he has been. He has a reputation, and it's a reputation that the order that he belonged to had actually used to their advantage, of being a rather cold and ruthless individual. Now that was always the case that he was able to disconnect his own feelings from whatever mission he was trying to accomplish, but he did when he wasn't like required when it wasn't required of him he wasn't that cold of an individual he did have a wife he did love her and he did um, not just constantly crave bloodshed but you wouldn't know that if you had encountered him while he was on some kind of a mission and now she's making the observation that here he is, he's on a mission, and he is finding himself under threat, but he is exercising a much greater degree of restraint. And perhaps it's the result of the death of his wife that's made him see the world differently, or the storms that have destroyed so much of the world. But his personality has seen quite a few changes, and he's not the same person he was before. She seems to think that the change is for the better. Uh, character sprite, the uh, portrait is too small. Remember that Annabelle was a character who was in the dream that Ansel had at the very beginning of the game. So, although she doesn't know him, he recognizes her as she walked out of the abyss.
Okay, uh, there was a bit of a graphical glitch here. Because you were supposed to have this sort of halo of light surrounding the characters, it was supposed to have, like, a shroud of darkness towards the edge of the screen. So Annabelle was supposed to back off into that shroud of darkness. So although her character is just kind of standing there, you're not supposed to be able to see her. So it was supposed to be like she crept off into the darkness and disappeared. So we have a battle against Annabelle, and we have kind of a mixture of different um, versions of her character portrait. So we'll, I'll get into that a little bit of detail in a bit. So it's a boss battle, but nothing is balanced correctly, so this fight will end soon. One hit, in fact. <laughs> like every other fight. In this darkness that we can't see. In fact, look, there are fucking shadows on the ground, too. <laughs> 